All right, so this big tree in the background here is going to be your Prunus ex yedoensis, or the, Yoshi, the Somi Yoshino cultivar of the Yoshino cherry. So Prunus ex yedoensis Somi Yoshino is gonna be your full Latin name. Um, the Yoshino cherry is its common name. This one, like all of our cherries, is gonna be in the Rosaceae family. It's in the rose family, and its hardiness zones five to eight. Um, so this is a small deciduous tree. This specimen behind me is very, very old. Um, so this is about the height that it's gonna get. Um, 25 to 30 feet tall with a nice rounded canopy. If you notice about the branching of the Yoshino cherry, it's a little bit more horizontal than the other two cherries that we learned. Um, so be looking for that. Also look for that smooth gray bark. It's almost silvery, um, satiny in color, and it has horizontal red lenticels. And I'll take a picture so you can see those close up. Um, but this is one that blooms before the leaves. You can see it has some leaves on it now. It's about done blooming. Um, but in February to March, it seems like it's getting later this year, bloomed in March. Um, it blooms in these clusters of flowers. They're white to pink in color. Um, and there again are five petaled rose flowers. Um, when the foliage does come out, as you can see now, like some of the other cherries that we learned, there are two glands at the base of the leaf on the petiole. So look for those kind of swollen, almost sticky looking glands. Um, and this one has a serrate to almost doubly serrate margin. Um, and then again with that accumulate tip. So look for those typical rose leaves. Look for the silvery gray bark. I think that the bark on the Yoshino is just a little bit more gray than the, on the autumnalis. Um, but look for those horizontal lenticels. Um, this is one, again, it's in the rose family, so it's susceptible to disease. So full sun is gonna be best to kind of cut down on those fungal pathogens. Um, and it's also gonna be best for flower. So um, look for the glands, look for those elliptic leaves, look for that silvery gray bark and those beautiful white blooms. And this is going to be your Yoshino cherry, um, Prunus ex yedoensis cultivar Somi Yoshino.